Hi Aries, welcome to your next 48 tarot card reading. This is going to be for the weekend, the 16th and 17th. I hope you guys are great. So let's go ahead and see what the cards have to say for you guys. Angels and spirit guides, messages of the white light. What are the messages coming in for the sign of Aries? And what do they need to see or acknowledge? What are the energies or the messages coming in for Aries? And if any of you are interested, this is the Moonstone bracelet. And I have these on my website, uh, starseed1111.com. If you happen to be interested, let's see, that's not very good. There. It has like a sheen. Okay. Let's see what's coming in for Aries. We're in Capricorn season. So Capricorn season, sun in Capricorn. I was just going to say, this is about responsibility. And we have here Emperor. So you're the boss again. <laughs> You're coming in as the boss. Um, you're not really running around fretting or doing anything. You're just kind of like ruling your empire. Um, very responsible energy. I was just going to say that and then the emperor fell out. We have people around you, I feel, who need your guidance. Three of Pentacles. There's people that need you to be strong. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, what do we have here? Influencing. What's influencing this energy for Aries? For the weekend, 16th and 17th. Okay, so we have here a reunion, happy times, spending time with friends, celebrating. Past energy here, we have a five of cups. Sadness or a disappointment, feelings of a loss. So I feel like this is over. Things are going to get happier in your social life. Four of Pentacles is here. Earth energy. Someone who is holding on very tightly. Refusing to let go. It could be the energy of somebody. Who is. Afraid that they might lose everything. Or afraid that they might lose you. Nine of Coins. Self-sufficient. Independent earth energy somebody who's on their own they're having a life of comfort they're just fine okay what comes in for Aries energy king of pentacles so king of pentacles is like third dick in Aries Taurus energy stable secure could be kind of stubborn very slow and methodical, making conscious choices about money, emperor and king. You could be dealing with an earth sign masculine as well. We have a king of air. So either you or the other person could be blocking or it could be kind of harsh. Um, this is about wanting things to be. It's about communicating in a way that's very straightforward. Okay, so you're hoping for a page of pentacles. Good news about money or the start of something new, which could be the ace of pentacles. You're hoping for a message regarding an ace. You're hoping for news about some kind of upcoming offer. Outcome is ten of cups. The happily ever after. The rainbow after a storm. I feel like this storm, this sadness is over. Something here is about reunions, happiness, joy, celebrations. Total emotional fulfillment. Okay. You're coming up as king of pentacles and emperor. You know, you're watching your money. You're being very responsible with your finances. So who is this king of air around you? Somebody who doesn't really show a lot of emotion. Hierophants. You could be dealing with um, someone in a position of authority, like 
the, a bank or an institution where there are rules to follow and it's like very serious about that could be a Gemini Libra Aquarius coming in towards you nine of pentacles is in your future energy a life of independence and financial comfort what is this nine of pentacles for Aries Okay, there's something here about being seen and recognized, having a victory, um, coming in on the horse of victory. Other people seeing you in a good light. It could also be a fire sign or somebody coming in towards you. What is this six of rods? Okay, we have nine rods and judgment. You could feel judged by somebody if you're doing really well for yourself. There could be some gossip from the past, but I feel like it's not bothering you very much. What is the Four of Pentacles here? Why do we have a Four of Pentacles? Somebody who saves out of fear that there will never be enough. Okay, could be somebody holding on to you too because we have the devil. This is like obsession or somebody who wants to have control about what you can do or what you can't do. Okay, so let's just get rid of these. So the outcome is happy. Emotional fulfillment, happiness. What is the Three of Cups here? Why is there a Three of Cups right here? Wow, so there's somebody here, Seven of Swords. So that's the person probably you were sad about, this King of Cups. Somebody could be coming back to apologize. Could also be somebody is expressing their love to you. What is the King of Pentacles here? Two of Swords, a lack of clarity, confusion. Try and make a decision. Wow, there's a Tower and the Four of Swords. And the Queen of Wands is here with the world. So you've achieved a great success. There could be somebody who wants to sort of come in and talk to you. Um, it could be a past person who hasn't let you go. Okay. Still don't know what this Ten of Cups is. What is Ten of Cups? What is Ten of Cups for Aries? Temperance, Patience, Balance, Sagittarian Energy, Balance again. And then there's the moon. What is the moon about here? What is the moon about here? Standing up for what you believe in. Page of Cups comes forward. It's like you don't want a reunion with this person, which is kind of interesting. What is um, the Four of Pentacles and the Devil? What's crowning Aries? Wow, it could be family members. Ten of Cups. What's the Ten of Cups? Oh my goodness, the Devil again. With lashing out... So this may have you confused or they feel confused. What is the nine of coin?
Where's the nine of coin? Six of coin. Somebody's trying to be generous. Or somebody could be paying you. Helping you. What is this wounded warrior energy? It's like you're blocking someone. Nine of coin, you want to be on your own. There's somebody that wants to come in. King of wands. Lover's card on the bottom. Hmm. So what is this Ten of Cups and the Devil about? What is this about? A toxic person in a group of people. Could be family. Five of Wands. Conflict. And the Six of Pentacles. Here's somebody helping you or you're helping them. Helpful energy. Okay, what is the Six of Pentacles about for Aries? Oh my goodness, Four of Swords. And this Nine of Wands. It's like you're blocking a group of people. There could be a group of people that you don't want to deal with. And... Basically, you're just sort of blocking them all. Sun card on the bottom. Happiness. <laughs> this is a funny reading because there's like a lot of happiness, but you're very, very stable. And there's other people that want to come in and connect in with you. Oh, there we go. So I've got chaos and conflict. But then I have by the book, breathe, and then the treasure island, which is like all things really, really good are coming in. So bottom of the deck is happy, happy. So try to stay connected to your strength and your happiness because it looks like there could be some people that are trying to like take it, but you're doing great. So not sure what this is about really I mean it's like you're very stable you're methodical you're thinking things through you're not impulsive do things by the book stay calm there's money here or something here about great abundance with the treasure island ten of cups is crowning great happiness all right guys I'm gonna leave it here for you thank you so much for watching and take care